know, it was uh, much different than the session I went through, uh, what, I guess about 17 years ago, something like that, uh, 18 years ago, and a uh, much different environment in what uh, we're dealing with. Um, I, I think that uh, the process still is uh, broken at times, it, especially at the end, it seems more like a banana republic than it does, you know, a, something that is organized, detailed, uh, you know, structured, you know, with the batching of bills, throwing bills, you know, 10 and a half hour session days, nonstop voting bills. So those things are concerning to me uh, that our government, it's not the way our founding fathers uh, meant for government to be. And so anyway, uh, that was, uh, you know, pretty disappointing that, to see how that that is you know, devolved into what it has there, especially the last week or so. But, um, you know, the second part was the, uh, the the spending. You know, David Ferguson has written some excellent articles on uh, spending, you know, RSA, revenue stabilization. And the biggest concern I have, obviously, is the spending increases that we're seeing and the exponentially spending increases that mean in that, you know, uh, whether Arkansas learns your for it or against it, it's going to cost more in future years. And I'm just concerned with the economy that, you know, we're not going to be able to keep up in cash flow. You know, I think Governor Sanders coming in and straightening up right off the bat, uh, a lot of things that Governor Hutchison, uh, quite frankly, never uh, had the political courage to do, or that's just him. I mean, uh, you know, coming in and making directives right off the bat that, that would have never happened. Uh, I think that was very good. I think uh, the, you know, finally addressing the criminal uh, problems that we had that is left over from the Hutchison administration of the crime crisis that never got solved by him. Uh, so I think that was, you know, working on that finally uh, was a positive. I think that uh, hopefully, you know, going forward, you know, after the dust settles a little bit and trying to figure out where we're going to go next and, and next year's elections, how is that going to shake out and determine what happens? Um, so that was probably some of the biggest things that I that I like when I, when, you know, from this session. Yeah, you know, I mean, certainly the process is, like I said, the last week or so was just pretty much a banana republic. It's just not what our founding fathers envisioned. It's not what we were supposed to teach in our civics government class, how government is supposed to work. Uh, you know, I think that it, uh, uh, you know, once again, we get back to the spending and the budget. We didn't reduce spending at all. Uh, spending is still increasing uh, exponentially. Uh, you know, not seeing how leadership and the process makes it work for the people. And that disconnect that you see, uh, and you know, we see it with the people watching the, the process and, uh, you know, they see it and see how does these things happen in a supposedly Republican supermajority. And um, so those are the things that, that was a very much a disappointment and like I said hopefully at some point in time either they're going to have to control spending or spending is going to control them I mean it's just one of the two I mean our economy now is not uh, revenues from a year ago we're down 15 percent so um, you know that that's what is the most concerning part that the the cronyism, a lot of the process part that is corrupted down there, you know, hasn't changed, unfortunately, in the legislature. You know, I went down to the start of the session, told people what I was going to do back home, and, and three things that just never even got a vote or failed was, one, to slow the process down, where we actually know what we're voting on. I mean, uh, that would have, you know, for the first seven weeks, we didn't do much of anything. We gavel in at one o'clock, and one thirty, we're done for seven weeks and the last week you know the last day before the, the last day i mean it was a ten and a half session hour day and nothing but a flood of bills no one knew what in the world they were voting on they keep shoving it through the process so uh that was uh hopefully people are going to start noticing and seeing that how dysfunctional and unrepresentative their government is and start trying to work on changing the process i mean 
You know, one of the biggest concerns is somebody that's been in Republican Party politics for 30 years and you know, a county chairman 24 years ago is, you know, that personal responsibility in the Republican Party is not a part of anything anymore. And, you know, people should expect them to pay their taxes before they you know, take per diem and trips. Uh, you know, they covered up and, and protected that process, and I don't feel like that's right. Uh, you know, the other big part was having five recorded votes in committee to get a bill out of committee. I mean, it, it was like, that is a simple tenet of democracy. Uh, Mason's uh, and Robert Rules of Orders that people know who voted and get bills out of committee and let the committee process work where you know what is recorded. And that failed. And in the end, you know, we had bills that failed on the Senate floor that didn't get five votes, but somehow got five votes in committee. So.